we have another video tutorial right now and this time I would want to show to you how you could utilize and make use of the Doppler shifter effect on Adobe Audition CS6 uh, what you would want to do first is look up for a file either an mp3, a wave, an OGG, a FLAC any file I mean any audio file of any file type would do uh, something that you can use uh, to play with like you'd want to make changes or experiment on this Doppler effect that we're going to be using. Open up Adobe Audition CS6 first. And again, uh, the reason why you'd want to do make use Doppler effects or Doppler shifters because at times you'd want to emulate like uh, an ambulance. Uh, Doppler itself, let's say you're positioned here, it's it's a range uh, how a vocal or an audio f f uh, frequency would change from the distance of an observer and uh, from the audio source itself. Uh, a good example for that would be an ambulance. Let's say you're one of the, of the observers or you're on a position that's kind of far from the ambulance itself. When it passes by uh, the audio frequency would change and it's going to shift that without you noticing much but again you'd want to emulate that if you're trying to make uh, radio ads, radio commercials or video production you'd want to make changes not by really recording a real ambulance or f probably a fire truck but you just would want to make use filters or effects with an audio editing software Right now, what I would want to make use of is a voice file. Let me open that. Sorry, let me just bring this. Oop, let me open that back again. Go to desktop right here. I've got something that says telephone call dot mp3. Uh, this is a, a file that we've used a lot of times on uh, other video tutorials that we have on YouTube. If you'd want to take a listen or know how we modified that, do something else, you can just look that up from the list of the videos that we have. And also you can do subscribe to our channel so you can get alerted every time we post new tutorial videos about Adobe Audition. So again, let me make you listen to this. Click on that, hold, drag, drop it in the editor view right here. If you don't have editor, go to window and you got that in there. Or you could also do alt plus one on your keyboard. Again, it's going to load that in there as a waveform uh, file or probably I could say a waveform view. Click on home on your keyboard, play it. I really need to talk to you right now. I'm having problems with cooking noodles. Uh, I need your help. Right, so uh, that's your base file or your raw file. It's been recorded on stereo. You got left and right channels right here. Let me just show back to you uh, here. If you, uh, if you kill or switch off one of the channels, then you go home, play it. I really need to talk to you right Then bring it back right here. You know, I'm having trouble. Uh, if you have like a stereo monitors right in there, you would notice that it's coming out of the left channel and the right channel. If you want to make use stereo, then you could do this. But if you want to make use mono, you could just convert that first to mono before loading that to the editor view. So again, Control A to highlight everything, then go to Effects right on top, and go scroll down to something that says Special right here. You got uh, Doppler Shifter right here it says process click on that and you got a lot of options let me just demo one by one for you go back to default right here you got a play button right here so you could preview before applying right play that I really need to talk to you right now I'm having problems with cooking noodles uh, I need your help. right so we're like somebody trying to transform itself into into somebody else yeah, and here's uh, one of the really good presets that you just have to click on if you're trying to emulate uh, an ambulance uh, siren click on that play it I really need to talk to you right now I'm having problems with cooking noodles uh, I need your help. all right so that's that's a voice uh, you might want to record a, si a siren first or just try to download that from some audio sources and just load that in here it would sound like that and another here spun in circles I really need to talk to you right now I'm having problems with cooking noodles uh, I need your help 
Yo, if you're using a stereo monitor right in there, you would notice it's going to like flange from left and right. All right, so again, go drippy right here. Uh, yeah, maybe you could use that for like sort of a animation, trying to make some robot sound. Uh, I guess that one would do. And um, here, I have a tornado. I really need to talk to you right now. I'm having troubles with cooking noodles. Uh, I need your help. All right. So again, you could make changes right here. You, you could also do that. What I'm just trying to demo right now are just presets. All right. That's the jet preset. Sort of like a mouse sounding right there. Okay, large track. I really need to talk to you right now. I'm having troubles with cooking noodles. Uh, I need your help. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Merry go round. I need your help. Alright, if you notice right there, it's gonna like source that out from a really low tone, not exactly tone, but a low frequency audio going up and it's gonna go back down again. And here, right to left. There we go. Too low. Passing on left. Right if you notice that on your again speaker monitors, uh, you'd be getting that from the left side. You got something that says right. Now try to find this. If you're going to take a look at the waveform right there, it's going to try to inject that on the right channel. I need to talk to you right now. I'm having troubles with cooking noodles. Uh, I need your help. There you go. And another rotating point source. I really need to talk to you right now. I'm having troubles with cooking noodles. Uh, I need your help. Another supersonic. All right, supersonic, but it doesn't sound any right there. Anyway, here. And another. Uh, this Doppler shifter right here is not limited to to just uh, a siren sound, but you can make use of any audio right here you can experiment you can blend this to other audio files that you have in there to to adapt uh, probably a robot transformer voice uh, jet voice and ambulance sound anything you can recreate the one that I've demoed right here are just presets that you can find in Adobe Audition CS6 to make use or overlay a Doppler shifter effect right on raw audio files yeah, for some of the video tutorials, you can check out www.newtoboss.com and please do subscribe to our channel, youtube.com slash Okay, my name is Ty. Thanks for watching.